In this video, I will show you how to set up family accounts. We will cover two cases, spouses with a joint tax return and spouses who file their tax returns separately. Generally speaking, you'll want to create an account for each person or group that will be filing a return. Then you can link the contacts appropriately depending on the situation. Our first case would be a married couple who file jointly. We are going to cover how to handle this manually. But remember, you could upload a CSV file with all your client details with our import tool to speed up this process. To add a new account, click the plus new button and select account. Feel free to choose a suitable account name that indicates it's for a couple. I, for example, will write down the family's last name. Then click Continue. From there, we can proceed with adding the contacts. When you create a new account manually, you are always prompted to either link an existing contact to it or add a new one. For existing contacts, you just have to start typing the name of the contact and add as many contacts as needed. To create a new one, just click on Add a new contact and enter all the necessary details. Add all the contacts that will file jointly with their separate email addresses. If there are other family members, such as children or grandparents, who also need portal access, they too can be linked to the account. Just make sure to enable the login toggle for any contact that needs access. If you're preparing two individual returns for a couple, create a separate account for each person and link just their contact to their own account. If they still want to have access to their spouse's account, you will need to link their contacts to each other's account. To do this, go to the Info tab in your client's account, click on Add Contacts, and search for the spouse name. Add them and then enable the login toggle for their contact. This way, they can log into either account and view all their information and documents, or even receive the same notifications and sync their email if you choose to enable those toggles as well. So, to sum it up, the number of accounts that you create will depend on the number of returns you need to file, and you just need to link the contacts to the appropriate accounts either while creating them or at any later point. Thank you so much for watching this video.